Well done. You just decapitated your grandfather. Malekith doesn't work. Now look, Thor The Dark World has a lot of cool stuff in it. It introduces a lot of new and interesting world building into the MCU. It has great chemistry between our leads Thor and Loki, and Curse is just a really cool side villain. But the movie's really flawed, I think we all know that. I personally think it's really overhated. Like I said, there is a lot of good stuff in it and a lot of stuff that I love. But the biggest problem with it, and I think the main reason people tend to look down on this film, is its villain, Malekith the Accursed. Now, in the comics, Malekith is a cool scheming trickster with a lot of personality and attitude that makes him not only fun to read, but also fun to see interact with our characters. He's actually very similar to Loki in a lot of ways, but for whatever reason the MCU decided just to make him a one-note boring villain. He has no good motive, he's boring, and has no real personal connection to our protagonist. They took everything that worked about the comic version and made him just bland. But I feel that change honestly kind of could have worked. You could have had a more cold and I mean, heartless is not the right word, but not bland necessarily, but more just interesting character. You could have had someone different from the comics version of Malekith and still made him fun, still made him compelling. All they really needed to do was throw in a few lines of dialogue before the final fight and they could have made Malekith one of the most interesting and complex characters in the MCU. Well, maybe not most compelling or seen, but they could have made him good, they could have made Malekith matter. So in the style of Nando V Movie's old one small change videos, don't know why I stopped doing those, those are always fun, I'm going to be proposing one small scene that should have been added into Thor The Dark World that would have fixed my three biggest complaints with Malekith. One, he has no good motive. Two, he's not interesting. And three, he has no personal connection to Thor. And that changes. Malekith should be a refugee. You see, in the flashback at the start of the film, we get a really interesting setup for Malekith. He is the leader of the Dark Elves who just was chilling in space when a bunch of light came in and annoyed them. All the Dark Elves were forced to fight against the Light, and Bor, Thor's distant relative, defeats Malekith, and the Elves, and yada yada, who, who cares? But the film sets up this cool dynamic of Malekith and Bor. Malekith would hate Bor for kicking him out of his home, and Bor being Thor's grandfather, you know, Malekith would have hate towards Thor. So obviously, Malekith would be annoyed and hateful at the descendants of Bor then, right? No, he, he's just evil. Why is he evil? He, he's just evil. So my change is this. Thor should try and reason with Malekith. In the scene where Loki tricks Malekith by pretending to take Thor prisoner and trade him off for Jane, Thor should try to talk it out first. Thor could say some line about how, Malekith, you're evil, you should stop this, what you're doing is wrong. And then we can get Malekith explain his origin in depth and we could actually see his character. In my head, it'd go a little something like this. Malekith, you don't need to do this. <laughs> you don't understand at all, do you, boy? If you do this, the Nine Realms will be plunged into darkness and chaos. Billions will die. But my people or what's left of them, will live. Your people, the ones who try to slaughter everyone on these nine realms. Slaughter? My people only took up arms to defend themselves. What nonsense has that old fool Odin been teaching you? The Dark Elves are an evil race bent on causing destruction and death everywhere they go. I guess Bor never did bother telling people the truth, then did he? No. My people were peaceful, they were good. We lived in harmony. But then boy, your grandfather, he attacked us, claiming it was in the name of peace. But he really just wanted our impure race, as he called it, to leave. We tried talking it out, we tried setting up peace negotiations in trees. Boy never listened. He just kept slaughtering my people, one after another, while I stood there and watched. Only as a last result did we take up arms in defense of our homeland, but we weren't strong enough then. We are now. If this is true, then please, let us help you. We can come to a peaceful understanding. 
it's too late for that. The only thing left to do now is revenge. Okay, look, I'm, I'm sorry for those horrible voices, but I hope that showed the point of how just adding a few lines could really make this film a lot better and make Malekith matter. And, well, the, the film can go on from there. Loki and Thor trick Malekith, they kill him, and a happy ending for everyone but the elves. But this small little scene fixes what is arguably the weakest part of the film. It gives Malekith a real motive. He's the last surviving member of a persecuted race, and now he wants revenge on the on Odin and all their family and everyone because he feels that, well, he was. He was taken advantage of. His people were killed for something that wasn't their control. It also gives him a more personal connection to Thor, hating his grandfather for causing his people to be killed. I'm honestly really surprised that the film doesn't do something like this because it really was set up. They, they had it set up. I mean, I don't know. You know, with the benefit of hindsight. You know, with the benefit of hindsight. But that's just what my one small change to Thor The Dark World that I feel could make it a lot better. I really do enjoy lots of the film. The action's pretty fun, like I said, Curse is a cool side villain, and Loki and Thor's relationship is really good in this film. Probably the best it's been in the entire MCU is in Thor The Dark World. And, well, that's kind of a shame because Thor The Dark World um, isn't the best, but still. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. Don't forget to have a nice day, and bye!